Hello and welcome to this course on Kubernetes for the absolute beginners. My name is Mumshad Manambeth and I will be your instructor for this course. So about me, I am a solutions architect and I work on cloud automation and DevOps practice. I am also a part-time trainer. I have authored multiple bestseller and top rated courses on Udemy on topics like Docker and Ansible. Let's take a look at the structure of this course. This course contains a series of lectures on Kubernetes. We will be discussing the basic concepts of Kubernetes here. These are followed by some demos on setting up a test environment and getting started with Kubernetes. We have optional quizzes that test your knowledge after each lecture. These are completely optional. You don't have to pass these to continue with the course. We then have coding exercises that will help you learn and practice developing YAML files, which will enable you to develop Kubernetes configuration files yourself. These configuration files may be a bit tricky for beginners, so I will also provide some tips and tricks that will help you remember the format. This plus the coding exercises will give you enough confidence to develop your own configuration files. We will in fact spend some extra time on these configuration files because in order to work with Kubernetes, you must have a good understanding around it. At the end, you will be given an assignment to test your knowledge on the topic. The assignment will help you gain exposure in working on a real life task with Kubernetes. And as always, if you have any questions, you may reach out directly to me through the Q&A section. So who is this course for? This is for the absolute beginner. You are not required to have any prior experience working with Kubernetes. We will walk through all the basic concepts required for you to understand Kubernetes. This is for those who are new to containers and container orchestration technology. You could be a developer trying to understand microservices, containers and orchestration technology, looking to gain some hands-on experience in developing Kubernetes-based solutions. You could be a system admin looking to scale up your knowledge in container clusters and trying to get some hands-on experience in setting up such clusters. Or you could be a project manager looking to gain only a basic understanding of the underlying concepts. This is for any beginner starting his Kubernetes journey. So that brings us to the question on how you should take up this course. Depending on your interest and the time and resources you have at hand, you may choose to skip certain sections of the course. If you're already familiar with the basic concepts such as Docker containers and YAML files, feel free to skip those sections. In this course, we will see different ways of setting up Kubernetes on your local machine or on various cloud platforms such as Google Cloud or AWS. If you are in a hurry or do not have sufficient resources to set up your own instances, we will also see option available to spin up a Kubernetes cluster in a matter of seconds on the cloud. Moving on to the topics we will be covering. In this course, we will go through the basics of Kubernetes. We will try to understand what containers are and what container orchestration is. We will see different ways of setting up and getting started with Kubernetes. We will go through the various concepts such as pods, replica sets, deployments, and services. We will try and get a basic understanding of networking in Kubernetes. We will also spend some time working with kubectl command line utility and developing Kubernetes YAML definition files. And finally, we will see how to deploy a microservices application on a public cloud platform like Google Cloud. As always, feel free to go through this course at your own pace. There may be sections in the course that you may be familiar with already, so feel free to skip them. So let's get started and I will see you in the first module.